Hello gorgeous people, welcome back to my channel. As you can see, I have rebranded. I am going to be doing reviews on this channel. I love binge watching shows, so why not say review so that you guys can also watch um, the shows that I'm watching. I'm gonna be doing reality shows, movies sometimes, um, and even some TV shows. Um, I'm going to try as much as possible um, not to spoil for you guys because i hate spoilers i hate, hate, hate okay so let's dive in love is blind hmm. from the name i'm just like oh that is interesting so if you haven't watched it this is what happens uh, what happens on love is blind they say love is blind so what they do on this reality show is you haven't met the person, you haven't seen the person, so you get into these pods. These pods are like separate rooms from the boys and the girls, they're like separate rooms, right? So you get into a room and then you start talking to somebody, somebody you haven't seen. So their theory is instead of going on Tinder and seeing the picture and just judging a book by its cover, here you actually have to experience someone emotionally and see if your interactions if you guys can connect but otherwise it's a 50 50 type of chance or a three uh three okay i don't know i was bad at maths i'm lying but anyway i can't just <laughs> but it, it was really nice um i enjoyed um i'm going to be talking about the ending i'm going to try not to spoil it for you, but I love the background music that they put on it because when they were doing I do's, you didn't know that this one was going to say yes or no. And there were also twists. The people that you would expect to say, I don't want to marry you, they're the ones who said yes. And you're like, boy, bye, girl, are you sure? Are you sure? And some couples that were meant to be doomed they actually got married so it is oh it is a nice feeling i love the background music um the couple's words oh my gosh there was a couple i love from day one made me tear uh, i like shared a tear one or two and i'm going to jump in i love how they did an intro um studying the episode they put damien and Gia and janine Giannina, and their love was a roller coaster everybody knows like oh my god it had this ups and then downs and then ups and then down like and like oh my gosh that guy can't is romantic like no mm, right the, the, that love was just romantic but too much fight i don't know you guys have to watch it for you to enjoy their love story it is amazing the next couple barnett and amber so with amber those two at first barnett wasn't sure if he wants to marry this girl this girl and that girl it was just crazy but you get to fall in love with barnett and amber together like you can see from Burnett's view why he loves Amber and you can also see from Amber's view why he love why she loves Burnett and it's so beautiful but here's the twist in that relationship Burnett's brother oh geez like do you know if they're going to say yes or no because Burnett's brother is like talking, talking, talking. Are you sure this is what you want? Are you really sure? Like, are you infatuated and stuff? Like, oh my gosh, like, uh, the day of the wedding was just beautiful, you know? But it rained. What a twist. And then to come to Amber, Amber has this debt. Guys, Epi the final episode is just amazing like you do not know what to expect because you've been traveling with these couples throughout the season up to this day it's a matter of are they going to say yes are they going to say no and it gives you the i don't know my seat was on the edge like i was on the edge of my seat because because of the background music i told you guys about like it is oh my gosh Guys, you have to watch Love is Blind. The third couple I'm gonna talk about is Kenny and Kelly. Oh, guys, didn't you just love them? 
oh my god those guys were so cute from day one i felt that they were kind of mature in quotes because they didn't have sex like come on like mm! i i love that part i love the part about them and they would open up with each other but the only problem is that plus also wait their names kenny and kelly like that oh it doesn't digest mm! guys but kelly 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 wasn't physically attracted to this man and sometimes it's hard to like get those butterflies because oh that handsome but kelly wasn't feeling them you know and then kenny was sex a deal breaker i i have no idea guys so it has mixed emotions guys you have to watch it to know if this couple's did they? And if you haven't watched Love is Blind, guys, you'll be blown away. It is nice. If, oh my gosh, you will fall in love. Reality shows are really nice because they're so close to, yeah, to reality. And then there's Jessica and Mark. My head, I'm just like, Mark, please. I think we've had enough. <laughs> like, boy, bye. Like, you were giving your all to this girl. This girl keeps bumping. Like, the girl's just trouble. But let's look at it at this other side. Jessica, uh, sorry, Mark is a helpless romantic. He is romantic. He is open. He was ready. But Jessica, Lord, Jessica wanted Mark to be this type of person. Like, girl, why did you even say yes to him in the first place, right? On the engagement. But you want Mark to be this person, but you are the same. You're, you're talking about yourself. You are not ready. You don't know what you want. And she's just a disaster she causes fights you know she was afraid about the age but no one the entire season no one freaking asked them about their 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 their, their age and even on the age thing everybody around them was so supportive you're like jessica why are you wasting our time but at the end of the end of uh towards the end of the show you could see jessica was falling in love um was taking was turned a new leaf and was now open to his love you know so question to you guys for you guys to go watch the show because it's amazing um did they end up getting ahead with this with this with this relationship like guys i am just reviewing the show as a whole and yeah I know at first I said I was going to do the last episode, but I would spoil it for you guys, so no. And then Lauren and Carmen. I think let me just end the, 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 the review right here because, guys, from day one, they were the... the if, oh, guys, that, that was just love right there. From, from day one, you know? From day one, I'm just going to end it here. Okay, guys, I am back. Guys, those two were just too cute, too. Guys, I love them from day one. They just clicked in in a few days. I love them, you know. I'm not gonna say more because I want you guys, if you haven't watched it, to fall in love. If you haven't watched the last episode, tell me what you guys think about all these couples and your views, what you guys thought and their end decisions. Were you in support of them, you know? And then what I loved about it, um, about the last episode is that at the end, towards the end, all the characters came to play and they started talking about how is love blind? Is um, like about their views throughout before and after and the future that holds them after this process you know um and i also loved how their family support except for jessica how come jessica didn't even come with with a friend like girl 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 but also another thing about this last episode is 
it's also it also has awkward moments like when the person says i don't want to marry you so it's like the people in the crowd are like <laughs> It is fun to watch. Watch Love is Blind, guys, if you haven't. It is, oh my God, it is amazing to watch. Um, you will love it. Um, maybe reality shows will turn out to be as amazing as I enjoyed this reality show. Enjoy, guys. My name is Cute Mocaccino, and I'm going to be doing reviews for you guys. Have a good day. Have a blessed day. Bye-bye.